My friends, this time we bring you a complete report car insurance, of great interest. Enjoy it! Chevrolet Traverse Car Insurance, Cost 2022 Average annual cost of auto insurance for a 30-year-old driver, $1,709. Most affordable insurance companies for Chevrolet Traverse Insurance, USAA, Nationwide and GEICO. Cheapest state for Traverse Insurance, Maine. Most expensive state for Traverse Insurance, Louisiana. The Chevrolet Traverse is an excellent choice for drivers who prioritize maximum passenger room and cargo space. While loading up your car with friends and family sounds ideal, insurance costs should also be a part of your budget calculation. Here's the average insurance costs for a Chevrolet Traverse. Chevrolet Traverse Insurance Costs by Company Chevrolet Traverse owners can save hundreds of dollars per year by comparing car insurance quotes from different companies. Among the large insurance companies we analyzed, USAA offers the cheapest car insurance for a Chevrolet Traverse. If you're not eligible for USA car insurance as a military veteran, member or family member, Nationwide and GEICO are the next cheapest in our cost of insurance for a Chevrolet Traverse based on driver age. The cheapest age for insuring a Chevrolet Traverse is age 60, according to Forbes Advisor's analysis of rates. Men and women pay about the same to insure a Traverse. For example, a 40-year-old man pays only $6 less per year than a 40-year-old woman. The most expensive age to insure a Traverse is age 20 and under. Two decades later, at age 40, the Chevrolet Traverse insurance cost is 51% cheaper. Car enthusiasts often modify their car to enhance its aesthetic appeal, add more comfort, or improve performance. These changes can affect the vehicle insurance premium as they may compromise the safety aspect of the vehicle. Whether you're modifying your car or even adding any accessories that could alter a car's security or performance, you need to inform the car insurance provider about any such changes. Depending on the modifications made, your car insurance premium, it may increase or reduce. Modifications that can increase car insurance premium. New paint job. Specialized paintworks such as decorative decals or eye-catching designs painted on your car can increase the chances of theft and may have a bearing on the car's insurance premium. Changing car interiors. You need to inform your insurer about any changes to the car's interior. This includes changing the car's steering wheel, pedals, sound system or even seats. The quality of products used also affects the insurance premium. Engine modification. People often modify the car's engine to improve its performance. Such modifications can help the vehicle achieve higher speed and quicker acceleration. On the flip side, such changes also raise the risk of accidents or even theft, increasing the car's risk profile. Therefore, any such engine modification, like adding a turbocharger or nitrous oxide unit, will increase the insurance premium amount. Replacing the engine. The insurance firm charges a standard car insurance premium on factory-installed engines based on the make of the model, brand, and manufacturing year. Therefore, replacing the original manufacturer's engine with a non-standard one will affect the premium charges. Wheels Nowadays, it is common to change the standard car wheels with alloy wheels or even broader tires. Installing such tires can increase the car's worth or the risk of theft or both. In either case, it often results in higher insurance premium costs. Suspension system and brakes. Upgrading or changing your brakes and suspension system can change the overall risk profile and safety score of the car. Notify your insurer to reassess your insurance premium in case of any such modifications to your car. Some modifications can reduce car insurance premium. All modifications don't result in a higher vehicle insurance premium. For instance, installing an ARI approved anti theft alarm system or a tracking system in your car lowers the risk of theft or break in. Similarly, installing parking sensors will reduce the risk of accidentally smashing your car against another car or a wall while reversing. Such modifications reduce the risk for the insurer. Therefore, the insurer is likely to encourage such customizations by providing discounts on the own damage part of the car insurance premium. Benefits of a Comprehensive Motor Insurance Policy It is important to inform your car insurance provider about any modifications slash changes made to the car. 24 Months Interest-Free Credit Cards How buy now, 
Pay Later compares to a credit card. These apps are popping up everywhere. But if you aren't careful, they can trip you up. When you buy online these days, you're likely to encounter a new kind of payment option to buy now, pay later a way to make your purchase without a debit or credit card. These installment plans, also known by the initials BNPL, have multiplied, with Afterpay, Zip, Affirm and Klarna among the most popular names, popping up whenever you go to hit the checkout page and sometimes before. If you already have a good credit score, the services promise a potentially cheaper alternative to credit cards, with the prospect of interest-free payments for people who pay on time. For people without access to traditional credit cards, Buy Now Pay Later services, which bypass full credit checks, offer a new way to buy on credit. Yet the opportunity to purchase a product in multiple installments, instead of in full at the point of purchase, comes with its pitfalls if you're not aware of their rules and how they work. How Buy Now Pay Later apps work Buy Now Pay Later functions like an unsecured loan. Apps typically allow you to split purchases into four installments, interest-free. PayPal's version, Pay in 4, offers this option, as does Klarna. The services vary in their features, Afterpay and Klarna offer payment plans that shoppers usually link to their debit cards, while a firm also facilitates new loans. BNPL kicks in when you check out and usually requires you to make a down payment, often 25%. Each purchase requires a separate approval, which usually takes seconds. Even if the merchant hasn't signed on with a buy now, pay later provider, you can still use the service through browser extensions or the mobile apps themselves. A firm issues app-based, single-use virtual cards. You apply for a pre-approved amount based on what you plan to spend on your purchase, the card is good for 24 hours. The Klarna card works more like a traditional credit card and is taken by merchants who accept Visa. Free for the first year, afterward the app-based Klarna card costs $3.99 a month to maintain. Another similarity to credit cards is that it offers rewards if you spend with its affiliated merchants, including Amazon, Starbucks, and Adidas. BNPL also offers some flexibility beyond the for-payment option. Klarna allows for loans of up to 36M. If you pay the $1,000 off in four months, you would pay. Asterisk credit card, $36 in interest, based on recent average rates. Asterisk BNPL, $0 in interest. If you pay the $1,000 off in 12 months, you would pay. Credit card, $102 in interest, based on recent average rates. BNPL Possibility 1, with a firm you would still pay just $1,000 without late fees or interest, but a series of late payments could lead to your getting cut off from taking out future loans. BNPL Possibility 2, some services charge interest if you fall behind on payments. With Klarna, you would pay $125 and PayPal credit $155, based on those companies' published rates. BNPL Possibility 3, some by now, pay later services allow you to sign up to pay over periods longer than the standard four months. In that case a credit card-like interest rate applies and you could pay anywhere from $60 to $200 at today's rates. One key to making by now, pay later work in your favor is to set up automatic payment deductions from your debit card, bank account, or credit card. Keep in mind, though, that if you use a credit card to pay off a buy now, pay later balance, you're just shifting consumer debt from one bucket to another and so may incur interest charges. While the prospect of making for equal, easy payments can have its advantages, you should pause before leaping into buy now, pay later. According to a LendingTree survey of more than 1,500 shoppers, 70% of women and 66% of men said they overspent using buy now, pay later. And in a survey of more than 2,000 consumers by c or Research, 59% said they purchased an unnecessary item they couldn't otherwise afford, while 57% regretted purchasing an item because it was too expensive. It's important to note that services such as Klarna and PayPal Credit charge retroactive interest rates if you're late on your payments. Retroactive means you will pay interest that's calculated from the original date of purchase. Klarna's rate is 19.99%, while PayPal Credit charges 24.74%. Late fees are also another hazard. PayPal charges up to $41, while Afterpay charges $10, Klarna up to $7, and Zip between $5 and $10. A firm does not charge late fees. By now, 
PayLater can also lure you into a false sense of security as the apps track how much you're spending or your current loan balance. But of course they don't tell you what you can afford based on your bank balance or budget, which could be a pitfall for anyone unfamiliar with credit, says Gabriella Slemmer, chief executive of Finisana, a money, investing and financial wellness website. At the end of the day, BNPL is still debt, Slemmer says. Every time you get into the habit of funding your lifestyle with money that isn't yours, it can be dangerous territory because you're essentially delaying the financial burden, not getting rid of it. More than half the C-plusser survey respondents also reported that they fell behind on a payment, and this is where BNPL loans can get especially hazardous. As the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau notes, each lender has different fees and policies.